Yo, yeah. yo, what's good? Don't flop all fucking day. You know the score. It's your boy uh, at Twitter on the Twitter. Hashtag D F A F D. We are here. If we're in the building, make some fucking noise. Let's go. Yeah. Coming out, it's our final event of the year. You know the score. You can follow us on Twitter at Don't Flop, Facebook.com slash Don't Flop as well for all the events and all that good shit. All right, this is a top eight tournament semi final. The final is going to be in Leeds on January, the end of January. It's going to be our first event of 2015, even that's crazy. And this is the final of the uh, yeah, semi finals anyway. So it's going to be dope. The uh, who's going to do the first one? Like, Sleepy G, right? Sleepy G went through, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleepy G, sorry, I'm just going crazy. Yeah, Sleepy G. So, yeah, Sleepy G made it through, and uh, the winner of this is going to face Sleepy G in January next year. All right, cool. So, MC on my left. Left hand side, battled here a few times before and up in Leeds on the main stage. Make some noise for Juan, everybody. Let's go! Yes, 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 yes. And uh, all the way from Wales, shouts for making the journey again. Killed this tournament before and his tryout and all that shit. Please make some noise for Vocab. Let's go! Yeah. Cool, alright, Vocab's gonna go first. Like I said, top eight semi final. Let's go! Yo, when they said I was gonna battle Juan, I thought I'm gonna straight spin him. He's some weird kid with a strange hairstyle that makes him look like most gay women. <laughs> <laughs> right now I feel like an age victim, cause he got youth on his side, so everybody keeps praising him and wants him to stay winning. You might be flying right now, but I'ma clap you off the sky back down to the ground like a clay pigeon. Cause brother, you ain't winning. There's no way the nerdiest guy on earth is beating me, especially when you still can't even purchase fireworks legally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're very, young. you're very young, and that's the reason everybody keeps giving you the benefit of the doubt. They're like, have you seen our new kid on Don't Flop? The 11 year old. Wow. <laughs> so let's settle in now. I can see why people like you, it's because you've got that geek appeal. But how the fuck are you going to keep it real when you keep turning up to Don't Flop events looking like Peter Beal? <laughs> <laughs> and I was at Camden Carnage for the last battle you done. You told Jay Dillon he was hanging off rock like the Mini Cooper in Italian job and the reaction I had from it was nuts. Now I'll admit, me watching films doesn't happen very much, but the YouTube comments told me it wasn't a Mini Cooper, you little mongo, it was actually a bus. <laughs> <laughs> So make sure you get your facts right the next time you step inside the ring. Because I was on the same level as saying I'm the one, like real in the Matrix. Or I'll dangle you off a mountain like that baby in the Tiger King. <laughs> <laughs> and fair play, bro, because you fucked up but somehow still got the applause. But make a mistake like that around me and I will swallow you whole like that dolphin in Jaws. <laughs> He don't even remember that. I mean, look how fucking young he is, little scruffy prick. I bet, the, I bet the number one thing on top of his bucket list always has been and still is to fuck a bitch. <laughs> You're too young for the student loan. Your age is your age is only a couple of figures bigger than the size of the shoes you own. After this, I'll probably head back home to the studio and make some music, bro. After this, he'll take his private jet, fly back off to his rural home, lock himself in a bathroom with a ruler so he can measure how much his pubes have grown. <laughs> Prepping for this, I won't lie, extreme hassle. I could have taken the easy option, called you a complete fraggle, but that's not Juan, because I try and come with original shit each battle. Just joking, you're fat and well. <laughs> <laughs> But that's not one, because I try and come with original shit each battle. Just joking, you're fat and Welsh. Thanks for the cheap angles. Because <laughs> it's not hard to work out that you find it hard to work out. <laughs> I got that down as a fact, but fuck a fat joke. Because I'm not like you with your cheap angles each battle in the rounds that you spat. Against DK, you called her the rowdiest slag. Against T, could you clown on the fact that he's proud to be black? But to take this battle, that's a game of Scrabble. Because for vocab to branch out, you'll have to pull something else out of the bag. <laughs> Putting this guy on the next bad bar show, just do it, bag. I hated you ever since. I hated you ever since Camden Carnage when you turned up wearing a fucking just do it bag. <laughs> a just do it bag. That's what this mug likes. That either means you take enough white, you want benefits with a fuck life, or you're a e or you're a year eight that shots toffee crisps at lunch. <laughs> My level's way ahead. Your level's dip low on stage like major laser sets as Body and Juan, that's a shot in the dark like Laser Quest. But wait a sec, I saw your battle with DK, safe to say, immense. Up to the stage you went, showed us you were the greatest gem by calling over Crazy Sket and chatting more rape up there than David Brent. 
Because you said you'd shag DK. <laughs> Bam, B <behave>. hate. <laughs> think that I'll shag that crazy chick? <laughs> well, the way you were talking, you'd be a happy man to date that bitch. I can see it now. You would grab her hand and place a kiss. Instead of arguing, you just battle rap and take the piss. But your voice is high. In fact, it has a grating pitch. Well, her voice sounds like that scally has an eight-inch dick. And plus, if we add the fact that Adam's apple's crazy big, it's pretty safe to say she'd be the man in that relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One more thing. Yes. You know you should stop flowing when you're best friends with Josh Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hold it down, yo. Round two is on vocab. Let's rap. It's going, man. Listen, Juan. Hold it down, everybody. Thank you. Listen, Juan. You're a dickhead fan. You're the sort of kid that goes on Instagram and sends a direct message to Will I Am declaring you're his biggest fan. <laughs> and since you joined Don't Flop, he's become a different man. On the weekends, he wears a bandana and pretends that he's in a gang. Stood in front of his mirror like, don't think that I won't kill a man. You better pray to God that a trigger jams while he's holding a bottle of Silip Bang. <laughs> but, but give it a couple of years and he's definitely going to work in a bank. Knock out your money, bruv, putting sperm in a tank. <laughs> sperm bank. And you're such a... <laughs> you're such a fucking expert, you could take one glance at a specimen and tell him whether it's fertile or blank. See, I'm a fully grown man. <laughs> if I lose this, I won't be getting mad. Same way as if I win, I won't be getting gassed. But for you, it's the other way round. You're pathetic, lad. You've got that, I'm the oldest kid in year 11, swag and frog your whole... <laughs> I'm the oldest kid in year 11, swag and frog your whole life, don't flop's the only fucking attention I've ever had. But realistically, your toes are getting tagged and your bones are getting bagged, because I don't really like this bloke. So I'll hit him with the highest voltage lightning bolt so this guy dissolves into particles so small he's only visible through microscopes. And I ain't never been a type to boast. But how are you gonna serve me with bars when you can't even get served at a bar? So you're gonna <laughs> I've got a skill to order the point, and you don't. <laughs> so I'm the sort of guy that I just rip the piss out of your appearance using skill sentences. He's the type of guy that I use a bunch of irrelevant film references, and all the tag along dickheads would be like, mmm, sick penmanship. I mean, I mean, I wasn't really getting it, but he did mention something about the fifth element, so it's probably intelligent. Well, based on that evidence alone, I'll label him a clever cunt and say that he body bags everyone. No, you smelly cunt. <laughs> no one gives a fuck about the films you watch and how you use the most gripping scene to spit a scheme and use that indirect shit to try and start dissing me. If I wanted to end his career, I'd just go round his yard, find his TV and fucking brick the screen until the glass shattered into smithereens. <laughs> See, I'm on a killing spree with your head wedged in between my guillotine, but I'm still full of sportsmanship and humility, so I will say that hopefully the best man wins, because officially, you're still a team. <laughs> Round two, one, let's go, man. In every song you script, the number one topic is the Illuminati and Masonic pricks. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> That's another paranoid little fake. Worried about the Masons and the Illuminati in every single place you visit, mate. Don't worry, bruv, there's no toxic chemicals on your dinner plate and Queen Elizabeth isn't monitoring everything you say. <laughs> but your phobia with reptiles and lizards got you moving a little strange. You got the swagger of Indiana Jones when he's in the plane with those snakes and you have to leave nightclubs whenever Karma Chameleon begins to <laughs> Just the shit you spray. It's not just the shit you spray in your battling bars, because your music shit too. Are you having a laugh? He acts like he's taking over Wales with a strap on each palm by chatting shells on his tracks like Mario Kart, like man, that's a farce. Vocab's running shit, you've got a more accurate chance of seeing vocab running shit, like that's gonna start. But a Welsh drug lord, you ain't the man that you act like you are whilst rapping your bars, so this fake over. You wouldn't see this pig take over if it was Animal Farm. Mm. You're not a shot blaster. You haven't got llamas. You're a cute, chubby Welsh man. Full of laughter. <laughs> so don't act like you're living the life of the Godfather when you genuinely make a really good Godfather. <laughs> Because two months ago, I had so much material that I wanted to say to you. You want to know how it sounded? Go and check my Twister battle on the pay-per-view. Because <laughs> your bars are shit, mate. And those jokes ain't going viral. Take that comedy out. And now that comedy's out, your body gets thrown into the pile. Because I ain't Moses with the tides or getting chosen by disciples. But I can bring another body to Wales like Jonah in the Bible. Mm. Time. Let's go. Final 
final round, let's go. Right, now you, you little muppet, you're the only reason we have to make this a daytime event. Because if he wasn't... Because <laughs> if he wasn't tucked up inside his bed by half nine, 25 to 10, his posh is fuck parents and he's going in 999 again. <laughs> Right. And you're fully English with a Spanish alias, Juan. I suggest you change your name if you aim to prosper. Because you ain't really Spanish, bro. You're more of a fake imposter than Diego Costa. <laughs> and you're something that no one's ever mentioned to him, but I'm going to start speaking about. The fucking colossal size of them teeth in your mouth. I mean, bro, your teeth are the henchist. <laughs> I genuinely feel sorry for your dentist. <laughs> I bet every time you turn up for the filling, he's so stressed while he's here drilling, thinking his shift's never gonna finish, it won't end. Because when he got his hands in your mouth, he feels like he's wrestling with the pillars from Stonehenge. <laughs> I could grab your face and use it as a massive paper shredder. I'll put a hundred pound down on the fact that Harry Baker's jealous because his teeth are no longer considered as the greatest ever. <laughs> And it instantly diminishes swag when you've got two gravestones poorly concealed underneath the lips that you have. I bet you could peel a sack of potatoes just by licking the bag. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're too fake. I bet you constantly get too fake. I bet when it comes to brushing them, you've got to put a full tube of toothpaste over the broom mate and every time he tries to floss it. You've got to put a full tube of toothpaste over the broom mate and every time he tries to floss you've got to use a fucking shoelace. I bet if you sneezed and they collided, it would fucking fracture your skull. But fuck that shit anyway. Let me send this faggot back home. You better realise in this battle thing, bro, I'm avalanche cold and the only reason you get ratings around here is because you're Bamalam's clone. <laughs> See, <laughs> you're the sort of novice guy I could never be bothered by. Your whole persona is blandness personified. You're so shit you should have to apologise or be forced to work on a style that at least keeps all the fans fucking occupied. Well, now I'm running out of time, so I'll end this by saying fuck your life. Being as boring as you are on an entertainment platform is not alright. I swear down on my mother's life, I would rather paint a whole office white, sit back and watch it dry than listen to this knobhead rhymes. Fuck it, time. <laughs> Whoa, vocab. You're so thrown back. Because you're just mum jokes, using lots of angles that Luna dropped, the type to comment on random battles like, where the hell has Luna gone? And I know that Shorty's back and a lot of fans wanting to clash Luna, Dom, but do just stop. Put on vocab against Raptor. That's sure to do the job. <laughs> You idolise Luna's work, fam. Looking at the hands of time, wishing you can turn back. You think you can work, man? How did you concur that? You're playing yourself without knowing it, like Truman Burbank. Ooh. Speaking of lunacy, you're a tacky, basic amateur. <laughs> you used to be part of a league called Epic Bars. <laughs> you have an imagination barrier. <laughs> <laughs> Epic bars. I was kind of surprised at that shit because I legitimately found the league worse than Get Slated. Do you not know how shite that, that is? And it wasn't helped with the guys that you bring, with your boys massaging your back at every bar that you spat, you turning around with the widest of grins, like, yes, I knew that I could fit in. <laughs> you relied on those pricks to survive in the ring. You're like the language of an African tribe when you spit. In other words, this vocab relies on a click. And it's shit like that. <laughs> shit like that. The main reason those Epic Bars videos aren't spreading. Because it don't flop, it's all mad punches and bar sessions. At Epic Bars, back rubbing and spa sessions. <laughs> I mean, really, G. Why do you think it's me against you and Pennies against Sleepy G? Because they knew me and Sleepy would beat them knees. Eat MC, so leave a sick final with me against Sleep. That's what they wanted to see. Not your comedy scenes, because they're what your weakness be. So now I've bodied the sneak. You lot will all see me bottling Sleep like the BFG. Mm. <laughs>
It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I just heard Tony say in my ear, it's a tough one. But I'm going to give it to Vocab now. Vocab just. Why we called it out in the middle? Yeah. Fuck off over there to win. See, uh, just Joe's one, the Vocab, I think, no, it's kind of each round edged it. I think Vocab tries to out-funny one, which is kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. impossible. So, yeah, two and one. Um, I give it two-one to one. Yeah, two-one to one. Yo, what's going on? It's Urb back here. We've got the top eight semi-final. Shouts to Sleepy G up at the uh, sixth birthday winning round number one. So, the guy that's going to be facing him, it was a fucking dope battle, man. Shouts to both these MCs. It was 3-2, but in January 2015, it's going to be Juan versus Sleepy G. Mason.